Pop singer Cher has two children, though one of these children is much more a part of the singer's life than the other. She had her first child with husband Sonny Bono. That first child is named Chaz. Most people know about Chaz Bono, but fewer people know about Elijah Blue Allman. Elijah is the son she had with second husband Greg Allman. Sadly, Cher's relationship with Elijah has had some turbulent moments over the years. Join Facts First as we explore why Cher's son Elijah was exiled from the family. Cher is closer with her first child than her second. Pop singer Cher has had two children over the course of her life. Elijah Blue Allman is Cher's second son, and the two sadly have had a pretty turbulent relationship. Today, Elijah Blue Allman is in his late 40s. Cher and Elijah are doing their best to patch things up after decades of not being very close. Elijah was born in 1976. His father was Greg Allman, Cher's second husband after Sonny Bono. Cher and Greg's marriage didn't last all that long. Since Greg was more into partying, Cher ended up being the one who got to take care of the child. Given that Cher was still fairly active in her career around that time period, she didn't have a whole lot of time to dedicate to raising him. As a result of his mother being busy with her career and his father being too into partying, Elijah Blue Allman ended up being sent away to boarding school at a fairly young age. This resulted in some serious feelings of resentment towards his parents. Specifically, Elijah felt his mother should have been there more for him when he was growing up. When Elijah came of age, these feelings still reverberated in his mind. Today, he's dealing with the ramification of these feelings, but it seems he and Cher are closer than ever. During the early years of his adulthood, Elijah Blue Allman began suffering from Lyme disease. According to Elijah, his mother didn't believe him when he claimed he wasn't feeling well. Cher began to believe her adult son was a hypochondriac, which drove an even bigger wedge between them. Elijah pursued treatment for his Lyme disease for years without getting better, but one day he received word that there were doctors in Germany who might be able to help him out. He traveled there and the doctors were able to make his symptoms go away. It seems he had been right about the fact that he was suffering from Lyme disease, though this didn't immediately heal his relationship with his mother. Cher didn't approve of her second son's marriage. While in Germany, Elijah met a woman named Mary Angela King. The two quickly fell in love and were married in 2013. They first eloped but then decided to have a small ceremony in Beverly Hills featuring some close friends and family members. As it turns out, Cher didn't make the cut. It seems Cher didn't approve of her second son's new relationship. Having already been estranged from his mother for the majority of his life, Elijah didn't care too much when his mother opted out of making it to the ceremony. In fact, she likely wasn't even invited. Sadly, it seems Elijah and Marie Angela's marriage wasn't meant to last. The two separated in 2020, and Elijah recently filed for divorce. It seems the divorce is still being finalized. The sad news comes alongside the decidedly happier news that it seems Elijah has made some moves in mending his relationship with his mother. It's a coincidence Elijah entered into a short-lived marriage as he was the product of one. Cher married his father in 75, and they were only together for a few years before divorcing in 1979. Before being married to Greg Allman, she was married to Sonny Bono for over a decade. But that doesn't mean her first marriage was any more happy than her second. Cher and Sonny had their fair share of problems. Most believe Sonny only entered into his relationship with Cher so he could take advantage of her burgeoning career. When it came time to choose a second husband, Cher knew she was going to have to pick someone who was already a celebrity in their own right. If you're looking for a snack that tastes great and packs some health benefits, make sure to check out Toodaloo. Toodaloo is a ridiculously tasty cosmic trail mix with functional benefits such as supporting focus, gut health, energy, and skin so you can be your best you. This trail mix comes in four tasty flavors, Smoke Show BBQ, Turning Heads Chocolate Clusters, Hot to Trot Spicy, and Slow Your Roll Maple Brittle. Each flavor bag is packed with herbs and superfoods so you can get your munch on without feeling guilty about it. My favorite flavor is the spicy one called Hot to Trot. I like how it has a little heat and gives me extra energy while also supporting my gut health. Each ridiculously tasty flavor benefits your body in a different way. So choose your favorite flavor and benefit from skin health, digestion, focus, or relaxation. Go to my link at toodaloo.com slash faxverse and use my code faxverse to get $5 off your first order. Cher and Greg Allman formed a strange couple. When Cher and Allman started dating, it caught the world of pop culture by surprise. Cher was a pop icon, while Greg Allman was a tried-and-true rock and roll star. 
Though the two were both exceptionally popular musicians, they came from different worlds. Allman being completely different than previous husband Sonny Bono was likely a big part of what attracted Cher to him. Still, their marriage didn't last very long. Elijah Blue Allman wasn't the only thing the two collaborated on. In 1977, the two musicians released a collaborative album. It wasn't very successful, and this was blamed on the fact that Cher and Greg Allman were two very distinct artists that made music aimed at different demographics. There was also the fact that the album was critically derided, with many feeling that neither party was bringing their all to the material. The album was called To the Hard Way, and it's seen as emblematic for the lack of passion in the marriage that inspired it. Cher and Greg were only together for around four years before divorcing. Elijah was born in 1976, which means he got to spend the first few years of his life with his parents still together. When they separated, it was Cher who got custody of the boy. Still, she made sure that Elijah could spend at least a little bit of time with his father as he grew up. Though Elijah has a lot of hard feelings about some of the choices his mother made during his childhood, he claims he understands completely why his mother tried to keep a distance between him and his father. Elijah made up with his father before his death. Greg Allman passed away in 2017. In the years leading up to his death, Elijah was just as estranged from him as he was from his mother. However, Elijah decided he wanted to patch things up with his father before his death. This is another thing that furthered the divide between Elijah and his mother before the two eventually decided to mend their own relationship. Elijah was grateful for the opportunity to be there during his father's final days. Though Cher and Greg Allman's marriage was incredibly short-lived, it was nearly even more so. A little over a week after they first got married, Cher filed for divorce because she didn't realize just how heavily he was into drugs and alcohol. The two were able to patch things up and get on with their marriage, though drugs and alcohol remained an issue over the entirety of it. They even remained an issue after the divorce, with Greg's substance abuse being one of the main reasons Cher limited the time their son spent around him. Today, it seems Cher and Elijah are well on their way towards mending the wounds that kept them estranged for so many decades. Thankfully, Cher has maintained a much better relationship with her child over the years. But that doesn't mean there haven't been any bumps in the road for Cher and her first child. Cher has had issues with her first child as well. Many might not be aware that Chaz Bono was actually born female but has since had his gender reassigned. The transformation was gradual, with the first hint of it coming in the form of chastity, revealing to her mother that she was a lesbian. According to Cher, she didn't initially take this news very well. When it came time for Chastity to fully undergo the transition into Chaz, Cher was even more put off. However, Cher eventually learned to accept her first child for who she is. Today, Cher is an outspoken supporter of trans rights. Given that Elijah Blue Allman is the son of two prominent musicians, it should come as no surprise that he's also a musician himself. According to legend, Gene Simmons gave Elijah his very first guitar. This happened when Elijah was only 13. Several years later, he founded a rock band named Deadsy. The band was active from 95 to 2007, during which time Elijah could be seen hooking up with such female celebrities as Nicole Richie and Paris Hilton. Elijah wanted to embody the rock star lifestyle just like his dad had, and he ended up doing a fairly good job. Sadly, he also matched his father's propensity for substance abuse. Deadsy went on hiatus in 2007 because of this. Thankfully, Elijah has since pulled himself together and Deadsy came back into existence in 2017. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Cher and Greg Allman had a son named Elijah and that this son and Cher were estranged for decades? Let us know in the comments section below.